Okay guys, I'm just going to make a quick little video here about control assignments and uh, communicating in sessions, uh, radio and text, private messages, that sort of stuff. So for starters, if you want to do a private message to someone, you do look up their name here and you'll see their car number. So let's say this guy who we're looking at now, Igor, his number is 29. So what you do is not on track, just go down to the little text thing there, and you go forward slash 29 space and then you type your message, whatever that may be, and press enter and that will send to him a private message, um, which only he will see and it will come up as blue text at the uh, top of his little text box up the top there. If he wanted to reply to that as a private message, he would type R and then a space and then his message and that would just reply only to you as a private message and that would come up as blue in your, uh, your little text box. Um, if you're on track and you want to do that, say I'm actually in the car and I want to type to someone, I can type T which brings up the cursor up there and then I can go type my little message, press enter, um, and that sh that will show the whole room that message. Um, if I wanted to reply to a private message, I would type R, it's too late now because I've already got the uh, cursor up there, but if I'm in the car and there's nothing going on and I get a private message, I type R, that will bring up that little cursor, a uh, little text R up there and I can start typing away, press enter, and that will reply. Um, the other one is private radio stations, which I think is a really cool feature to have, especially if there's just a few of you, you and your mates in a public practice session and you want to talk a bit of shit or talk about car setups or whatever and you don't really want to annoy the hell out of the rest of the room if you're cracking on, is you can create your own radio channel. So at the moment we're on the default channel, which is drivers, down there you can see the bottom. Um, if you want to create your own channel, you type at add space and then the name of your channel which I guess in this case we'll just call it Oz short for Oz Como Bros and you press enter and that created a radio channel down there called Oz now if everyone does that they will all be on that same channel and then you just press your push to talk button and you can talk to each other privately without anyone else hearing what you're saying. If you want to, um, you'll still hear the driver's channel, but if you want to talk on the driver's channel, you'll have to scroll back to that driver's channel, which I've just done, because I've got a wheel assignment, um, where I can scroll through all the different radio channels. If we go into options, options, now these are all the, most of these are the default text messages which you can assign to keys or buttons on your wheel or whatever control assignment. Um, you can see most of those are the default ones, I've changed that one to no probs um, and I've assigned a button on my button box. So basically if you want to uh, assign something there you just click on there, so you're welcome, I actually haven't got that assigned. So and now I just press a key. So I just press the equals key then, and that now is the macro to send the text message of your welcome. Um, you can see I've changed another couple there. I've changed that to switch for oval racing, uh, LOL. Now these are the cool ones. Uh, these are your pit assignments. So some of the longer races you'll need to come in for a splash of fuel, um, or you might want to take some fuel and no tyres, or you know, some of the oval racing you want to just take right hand tyres. Um, so I've assigned all of these so that if I'm coming into the pits I can just hit a button and that will automatically set my uh, pit adjustments to those. So this is the one I most commonly use. It's clear fuel, uh, clear tyres so that we'll take no tyres and it'll start filling with 18 gallons of fuel. Now the other part of that is, if I know that I've only got say five laps to go in a race, 
and my tyres are not shot to pieces. Um, I can press my macro key for that as I'm coming into pits. That will reset the uh, pit assignment so it'll take no tyres and it'll start filling if they're gallons of fuel. Um, what I can then do is if I'm on track, I'll just jump back into the car, if I'm on track and I'll select my fuel readout there, the begin fueling button will be checked as I'm coming into pits. Once I pull into the pit stall, it'll start fueling and you'll see the, the amount going in and all that sort of stuff. When I think I've got enough fuel, I just hit the space bar, that stops the fueling, drops the car off the jacks and away I go. It's up to me to make the judgement on how much fuel I'm going to need to finish the race. Um, the beauty of this is I didn't take any tyres, so there's no time penalty for a set of tyres. And like I said, if I figure my tyres are good enough for another five laps, then I can do a nice quick pit stop um, and get back out on track and hopefully get a bit of an advantage over some guy that doesn't know this and has just rolled into pits with the default settings and his car will automatically take a set of tyres, even if he's only got a few laps to go. Um, it has worked for me before as well, especially in uh, NASCAR races. If you get down to the, the last few laps and the yellow comes out, Every, everyone comes in for a splash um, and especially in big super speedways you don't really need fantastic tyres especially for a short little stint so you can do a really nice quick little pit stop and uh, get back out under the yellow and make a few positions under caution set yourself up for a good finish if we go back into options and controls these are all your in-car assignments and it depends on what car you're driving as to how many of these will actually be assignable in car. So you can see in the, in the um, Z4, so I can set brake bias to be assignable in car while you're driving. All this stuff here is all NASCAR or F1 and all that sort of stuff. Uh, change the mixture in car, throttle shaping, blah blah blah. Now these are all, you can assign keys to all this stuff challenge with that is remembering where you assigned everything. Um, a lot of this stuff you can bring up a little black box on the right hand side and you can click on it with your mouse but not always convenient when you're trying to drive at the same time especially under the pressure of racing. Um, here are all replay controls there. Um, these are the ones I've got a lot of assignments for so these are all I think by default these are all your F keys. You can scroll through all this information your standings relative to Tires, blah, 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 this stuff, adjustment. They're all assigned to F keys. Um, I've got them all assigned to buttons on my button box here. So you can see the lap standings relative, blah, blah, blah. Um, which allows me to, while I'm driving, I can just press that and that brings up that black box. And so if I'm on track, press the brake button, it brings up in car adjustments. Now, what I've got here is I've got a two way toggle switch set up so I can scroll through all that information and then if I want to change say that throttle shaping I'll just use the next one which is increment decrement and that will change throttle shaping accordingly and I can do that all in car while I'm racing sort of thing again if I want to go back through I just toggle and it'll scroll through so you can assign keyboard buttons on your wheel whatever to do all this stuff you've kind of got to work out what's going to be the most convenient and useful to you. A lot of this stuff I don't even touch. Yeah. Occasionally I'll start with traction control on a higher setting and then reduce it as I'm racing, um, as the tyres warm up. This is really good on cars that are pretty dodgy on cold tyres. You can sort of get, get some heat into the tyres in the first couple of laps and then reduce your traction control if you feel like it's affecting your speed out of corners and stuff. Um, yeah, again, if I'm coming into pits this will show what I've set as a um, default refill um, tyres which are, are selected if I'm going to come into track uh, come into pits that sort of thing um, relative which is the one that's pretty much always on and you should always have your relative I think the default for that is F3 just shows where you are on track um, that's about it I think so hopefully that'll um, make everything easier for you guys on track and um, bit easy to understand. So yeah. Oh, cool.